Hey, my name is James Tuckerson. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about a topic that we've covered a lot in recent weeks because there's been so much turbulence. But you're going to like this because interest rates are now not expected to go anywhere near as high as what we were talking about, even as recently as one and a half weeks ago. So make sure you stick around to the end. Now, this channel is all about my investment journey, and I want to invite you on that journey with me. Now, we're building a portfolio for my two daughters. Georgia is 21. We've got two properties so far. We've got a house up north in Doncaster. We've got a flat down south in Dorking. And we're also building a portfolio for my little baby, Amelie. So join us on the journey, particularly in these turbulent times. It's good to know what's going on. So take that finger of power, spin it around, smash that subscribe button over there. Go on, do it right now. Smash the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, and make sure you check out all my other content. Now, the past few weeks, what a roller coaster we've been on, guys. We've had <laughs> a few different prime ministers, haven't we? Uh, so we had Liz Truss. And during that time, a lot of stuff happened. In fact, they did something which I'm sure you're aware of called the mini budget. That didn't really work out so well, did it? In fact, the markets absolutely turned on the government there. The pound crashed. The Bank of England had to step in and buy lots of government debt just to stop everything imploding. And what ultimately happened was the expectations at the time, just before, were well, that interest rates might peak out at 1.75. Then with the disaster that happened then, we then thought rates might go to 5%, and then they were going to go up north of 6%. Now, this is the Bank of England's rate, and you can't borrow money at that. You will get charged a margin on top. So you'd be looking at maybe as high as 10% maybe as high as 10% if you didn't have perfect credit and all that kind of stuff. So that is a considerable amount of money that potentially we can pay. Now, the government did a, a U-turn that also spooked the markets. Uh, and the reason it spooked them because there's no certainty. They're like, what the hell is going on? Who's in charge of this place? If you're going to say one thing one week and just take it back the next week, that isn't good for anyone. And so ultimately, Liz Truss fell on her sword. And so today, we have, well, at the time of recording this, you'll be watching it the day after, but we've just had Rishi Sunak announced as the new Prime Minister. Now, even over the weekend, that was what we were expecting. So the markets have been pricing in what they feel the future interest rates will be. And um, Sky News did a great story on that today, which you might have lost in all the stuff that's going on. But the actual now predicted peak of the interest rates is not 6%. It's still not good, but it is 4.75%. So just under 5%. Now that is going to make a big big difference. And the last few weeks we've been talking about the market cooling down, potentially a market crash. Some analysts were saying that the market might go down 15%. Well, I believe that now with lower rates, the, the market will still cool down for sure, because it's going to cool down uh, because there is less stock on there. People are just waiting and seeing at the moment. So of course the market's going to slow down. That's a given. But I think that whatever correction comes will be better with a 4.75% base rate than with a 6% base rate. I'm sure you'd agree. Let me know in the comments what you think. Do you think if we do peak out of 4.75 as the base rate, which means, I don't know, you might get lucky and get a rate that's at six and a half percent. Now you are seeing rates like that already, and that's because they're already forecasting ahead, right? So the rates that you actually get, even with like future increases that we're gonna get in the next week or so, you might not suddenly see the rates jump from the mortgage lenders now, because some of them have already priced some of this stuff in, which is good for us, right? And so do you feel with a 4.75% rate, a correction, may still happen and that there'll be less. It just makes sense, right? The fundamentals are still there. There is not enough property in the UK. Now, people get very frustrated with landlords and rent going up, 
But the reason that is happening is because landlords are actually getting driven out of the market. So people are listening and they're saying, you don't want me to be a landlord? Fine, I won't be a landlord. That means there are less landlords, less properties to rent. And that is what's fueling the increase in rent, which means it's becoming unaffordable for a lot of people. And that is the bigger problem. What the UK government need to do is help with a project to build houses. They've already made this commitment multiple times and nothing has really happened. We're saying that we need 300,000 houses in the UK every single year. We don't even barely get over 100,000 new bills. And so that number just gets bigger and bigger and bigger the more houses that we actually need. And because we're not doing that, that means that it does mean that the market isn't going to go down 50% that some or some of my viewers uh, believe that the market's going to crash 50%. It can't because there's not enough stock. People still need houses. Uh, and that's that's our biggest problem. And so what I think needs to happen is we need to build more and that will give us more certainty, right? That will give us more certainty. And that's what I want. I don't want a market that goes up 15% one year and then down 10% the next year. That's volatile and that means it's hard to actually do deals. If the market just went up 2% gradually on a, on a regular basis, which it normally goes up more than that, but if it just went up 2%, at least it gives us the certainty. And so we can plan deals, plan financing and all of that stuff in place. But this is good. I think this is good news. I think ultimately that, might num that number might even come down a little bit more. Let's just see if inflation starts to turn at some point soon. Fingers crossed, something has to happen. Um, it potentially is going to go up a little bit first, even more, but then it will start to level off. And so if we can bring that inflation down, anything that the government can do to bring it down quicker, I'm fully backing that for sure, because that is what's giving us uncertainty at the moment. So that's good news, I think. That is the new potential target. You never know. I might be making a video by the end of the week saying, hey, Rishi's got some harebrained scheme and now they think it's going to be 20% interest rates. I don't know. It's so strange these times at the moment. Um, <laughs> and so that's why I think you should subscribe. Keep up to date with what's going on. Don't let this put you off, though, because there are some good deals. I was looking at an auction last week. Prices have come down in the auctions, which is good. And that accommodates this new interest rate price. They'll still work the deals. Investors are still going to buy. And um, you can still make some very, very good money because there'll be some people that are just desperate to sell right now. And that could be an opportunity for you. Anyway, do check out all the other content on my channel. We're going to be coming live to London in the next few weeks. In the description is a link where you can sign up, get on the VIP list, get all the information about that live event and grab yourself a ticket to that. I want to make sure I see you guys very, very soon. Do check out all the other content on my channel, including this video right here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.